What is going on everybody? It is Mildro back with <laughs> day 69, nice, of, of, of the long haul. Just doing some work overnight, had some screamers show up, but I did realize, like, uh... Here, let me just get up for a second. Uh, that I forgot to do this side of the catwalks, but I have gotten all the catwalks placed up, and... Forges are working away at, f at forged iron, and I've just been doing some uh, some hatch work here. Uh, just figured, might as well just work on. Like, oh, I I was trying to do eighty. I was meant to do eight, but you know, not only not only to finish out the uh, this side of the base, um, start and. Uh, I'll just gotta start working on these uh, while I'm talking, but you know, do it to the cat and catwalks. Surprisingly, the nail gun's not that fast at doing this. Like, it's incredibly quick. Don't get me wrong. It's like it, you know, it's doing it pretty good. But it's like, I think if I remember correctly, the the hammer was doing. Oh, let me just pop these up while before I forget about him, but the hammer was doing this on one shot per layer. It's... But hey, it's just like, I'm hoping I have enough iron here for the... And... Wow! I I was like, I don't remember how much it took long ago when I did the first first half of the base uh, for, for iron, you know, like, uh, for scrap iron and all that. To uh, to get it done, but like, hey, I guess I had enough, just barely. But um, so yeah, I wanted to start kind of just installing hatches on on here. Let me make sure this. Is... Yep, that's uh, that's perfect. The uh, the trick to and the thing with these hatches is. Uh, let me just show you really quick. So, this uh, this little square is uh, that shows you kind of like you pay attention to this square. It that shows you kind of which way it'll open. That's one thing I realized. I think there's like an indicator on on like PC for it. Like you know, they did that as a quality of life thing, like show you where the doors are opening. Or it could have been modded, but it's one of those. It's a but nice little trick to know. Just open these up. I figured, for the hell of it, might as well just throw them up to steel level. Have some steel vault hatches. And I want to upgrade, try and upgrade this all to, uh, to, what do you call it, uh, like all the catwalks up to forged iron, you know, kind of give it that, that industrial feel, uh, because I'm like, I'm already got concrete and steel on the base, and I figured might as well just kind of go insane and and do more, you know, just kind of go full industrial mode. Um, I'm gonna need even more scrap iron for these, so... Um, we're... well, I'm done with... I'm done with scrap, well, kind of concrete at this point in time, so... Yeah, it takes 40 iron. That should be enough to run those rebar frames to take care of it. Working on making more bullet-making materials, uh... You know, just got all the got all that going. Like, just gonna let that clay smell for a while. Um, we'll give you a little bit more fuel just to just to help you. Yeah, we're just kind of cook it away. Uh, while we're waiting for that scrap iron, though, we'll go check on all the. Yeah, you're actually out of clay, so um, you're still you're still burping away at. That forged iron, so uh, we still have half a minute left, so let's just kind of start upgrading. So I think it takes eight. Yes, it does. But let's just kind of see how much. This... Just see how much this gets me around the outside. Keep in mind, I'll I will definitely just uh, like I'll probably need more forged iron, but that's why I'm working on making a whole bunch of it. Now the little railing pieces that deal you know, like this, that only takes one. But um 
I just want to see the progress on this. Oh boy. Like, got over 500 forged iron, but don't know how far this is going to get me. If we're lucky, it might uh, it might get me to the outside, so... Get me around the outside and everything, but... Okay. Yeah. This is why I want to grab so much iron and kind of start making forged iron. Yep, we're out, but... We got the scrap iron. We'll just upgrade those to full, full iron, and full scrap iron. We'll make the steel uh, like uh, and get them upgrade. Yeah, you know, you know, just work on them. You gotta make. I want to make sure I got, got the hinges in the right. You know, got them flipped in the right direction because did not want to have a case of making. You know, making a whole bunch of uh, steel one. You know, then suddenly. Um, you know, it suddenly can't get in because of the hatches, so. And we're running, we're still running short on iron. Oh, the, oh, the woes of, of this game. Um. I'll start scrapping nails, like. Apparently, I probably still won't even have enough iron. Um, scrap you two. You. You need your upgrade and wait for this. <laughs> That'll be the last of the scrap iron we really need. Just gotta wait for these nails to pop up. There we go. Now we're now we're looking good on that stuff and well. Sorry, I was trying to think of like why. Just looking for a little bit of steel. Um, got 34 of it. We'll. I just want to kind of see what this does. So it's it's 20 uh, 20 iron. Uh, well, 20 36 steel per hatch. Yeah, that's that's gonna be that's not expensive at all. Okay, so just to get this thing. Pumping away on iron wool. She's been she's been making sure uh, iron's going in. Like we'll just kind of let for uh, let clay get in there for a while. Hope I'm hoping that I have enough forged iron, but something tells me I might not. Which would be a little unfortunate, but see that takes only one you know one iron and. It looks a little strange, but I can live with it. I can live with it. It's it's really no biggie. Kind of like if you kind of look at it from far away, it's like it doesn't it don't look that bad. It's kind of the best way I can really do it, but oh, so um oh here comes another screamer. Here she comes to save the day. Screamer loves her being a nuisance. Oh, I'm surprised she didn't scream, but... Nah. I could harvest crops, but really, it's that's not a big... Kind of one of those. I have enough food. I have more than enough resources to make meat stews for to last me through the Horde night. Up to... Uh, uh, wellness 147. I've, one thing I'm kind of really hoping is uh, that I can get into uh, get to 150 before the end of the Horde night. Yeah, earn the uh, trophy for that. But yeah, thinking probably raid some houses in town today. Well, speak of the devil. I I say that and then Screamer wants to show up and and have a grand old time. Uh, why must you show up? I think I might have taken her out just in time, but... Nope. Spider Zombie spawned in. Now Spider Zombie dead. Yeah, you can see, like, uh... This is gonna take a lot of forged iron. And so... 
that was that was a ton of stuff to so I think I'm trying to consider whether I want to you know focus on forged iron or you know, get more forged iron you know try to get this fit you know try to get this base polished out you know Oh, for, I forgot about you. I'm sorry. Just want to get, want to start working some clay into it just so I can, just let it continue to feed and just have its, uh, have its little way. And give them both 750 wood. I noticed I had a couple more pieces, so. But first, apologize if it's a, you know, kind of a little boring, but you know. It's just kind of, we want to, I just want to make sure this base is looking pretty before I leave it. Oh, another 64 forged iron. But grab the, uh, grab these two pieces that I saw, wherever they may be. There we are. We can do eight more catwalks, though. And, yeah, more didn't really put it in, but we can still upgrade a couple of railings here, so. Um, come on. I know you want to do something. There you go. And. So, if you if you are going with catwalks or folks, you know, on this version, you know, and you don't want, and you don't want this uh, looking weird like, like that, uh, I mean, I've already gone too far. But, uh, so I'm not going back because these cost like these hit go for like a thousand hit points each. But let's go raid some houses really quick. I just gotta put some stuff away and I'll meet you over there. Well, folks, I'm over here at the uh, little shack bunker. I'll call it. Probably gonna be looting this for the last time on Long Haul, yo. Yeah. So, I want, I at least want to check to see if there's anything in here, just to be absolutely certain of it. it looks like it's respawned, so. You know, just, uh, I have my nail gun still on me, because, uh, you know, just, just kind of keep things, uh, going here. Um, I don't know, we'll, just kind of looting this to keep you guys there today and, you know, at least, uh, give you something to watch other than base building. It's like, I get it, it's a little, it's like, I understand it can be a little boring, but at this point for me, it's just kind of like, wait for Clay and wait for Clay to come in and, uh, go into the forge and so I can make, uh, make a lot of forged iron, so. Uh... You know, just kind of loot the kitchen, you know, all that. See if there's any anything I can, you know, get like cans for scrap iron. Yeah, you know, grab all the stuff. But I think I might just loot that. But and you know, Magnum grip, I'll take it and. He also gave me some ammunition. How nice of him. And we'll just scrap that. I think this might have been a shotgun from a cop. Can't remember. But, you know, it's just not too... Not really that much loot. And it's just kind of, uh, let's say... One thing I did say in the previous episode, though, was I was wanting to check the... Traitor, you know, just kind of. Oh, high crawler. Well, just you know, just to see if there were zombies at the trader. And you know, it's just a little bit of. Uh, I know it's not the. So I'm really wanting to try and get a flag from. From the trader, you know, just to see if. You know, just to kind of have a couple, a couple, you know, a nice decoration on this, and. Okay. Where is the zombies at? Zombies. There you guys are. I know I'm a little thirsty, but I'm not going to drink bottled water. I want to make. I want to try to get as much uh, 
much of the wellness juice out of the uh, much of the wellness out if possible. Come here. We'll speed open with club. Come here, Penny. There you go. So yeah, let's, um, try to clear these guys out. There you go. Hello, I heard you like AK. There you go. Charlie. Feel the power of the AK, zombies. Feel the power. It's amazing how this thing is so powerful on this version. It's like... You really kind of because of the game's age, but... They're still doing their dorsal animation. But it's like it, the AK is considered a tier 2 on... You know... On a PC version, you know... It's just kind of unusual. It's like, uh... I keep hearing more zombies. Oh. What happened? Lose your... Lose your legs on a cactus? Um, oh, sounds like a crawler. Yeah, it's like the... Like, the first, um, assault rifle that you craft you... After the pipe machine gun on, like, uh... Let's just say Alpha 21, like, you know, for a PC, you know, is the AK, and it's like, it, and then I'm like, you know, it's just kind of, you know, using the AK now on zombies, it's kind of crazy to think that this thing used to, this, it's like, that this is like, you know, basically like the top tier weapon on, on the legacy version here, and I just stop in here, just drop off a little loot. I'm almost wondering if I could get a, Almost, I want some zombies, and it's like, I wish there was some, uh, some way just to get, like, a bunch of them running around, like, yo. I almost wonder if there's a way I, if I could get a vending machine from the trader. But let's go see if there's any zombies over there, and, and, uh, it's kind of quiet. Kind of what also would be a, even better thing would be if there was like a feral walker like that spawned in from a screamer because it's a because then I could just I could just kite him over to to uh, my to trader Rex that way I could just take him out and and then uh you know for the for the trader glitch I'm like I just I just wonder I'm like can you can you rob a vending machine from a traitor. That would be an interesting little 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 question to find. Please there please let there be lumberjacks at least. Traitor Rect, I'm not here for you. No Recky Poo. Are there any zombies in the local area? Any zombies? Because I would like to. I would like to have. I would like a couple of you. Um. I'm sure if I if I sp sprinted around like you know, in the biome for a little bit, you know, walked around like there would be a couple zombies hanging out around here, you. Know. No, no joy. Really sucks, guys, because I, I was really wanting, you know, really wanting a couple items from the trader that, you know, from his compound. Oh. Yeah, there's no zombies around here. I think just to kill some time, though, I'll, I'll walk around the, I'll walk around the snow biome just to see, like, kind of walk around in the area and just see if there's any zombies to uh be seen and if i do i'll and yeah i can get them over to the trader then i'll let you guys know well youtube uh i've got i've I finally found a zombie over here so uh we're actually gonna have penny be the uh be the test subject for the vending machine here come here okay let me just make sure i can there we go. Set this up. And... 
I don't think I can actually take a, a, a vending machine, unfortunately. Come here. Curly. Buddy. If I remember correctly, it's a... You gotta take out the zombie, and then... We'll just take out Curly. And, um... There we go. So... We'll take the fire axe to him, and we will... So... And then we will beep and take the body out. Oh, great. Wait a minute. What? I know this is a glitch you could do here. Uh, so, YouTube, give me one second while I, while I remember how to do this little glitch here. Okay, YouTube, I apologize for, for this, uh, for that little interruption. I completely forgot how to do it. I was doing it wrong. I had an extra step, so. How you do it is you take the, you kill a zombie, and then you hit the item you want here. And then, you have to one-shot the body. There we go! Got myself a... Got the White River flagpole, and then... I also got me a vending machine. Um, Charlie's over there. So is old Mikey boy. And... We'll grab a... Uh, we'll grab an extra of each, so... And... Do it again. There we go. Extra vending machine, and then... Oh, Mikey! Mikey decided to come on over. In case you're wondering how I found zombies, I realized there is a house over here, and I decided to see if there's zombies so that respawn. Take care of him, and... You know what? There you go. Got two white, for, uh, white river uh, flagpoles, and... And I also got a... I also got a, uh, uh, what do you, <laughs> you know, got some White River flag uh, poles and some, some video machines. Like I said, I apologize for that, guys. I thought I could, uh, you know, I was testing to make sure I could, uh, you know, just about one shot. And I didn't know if my spike club was able to do it at such low durability, but thankfully we got it, so. But yeah, thankfully I was able to find, a f find enough zombies to do what I wanted, so. Let's go travel over to our little uh, compound, uh, our base, and... Now, the thing I wonder is, I'm actually wondering here is... Does the, does this happen with the, uh... Does the vending machines I actually placed down come with, uh... I presume they will have their own stock. But let's find out here right in the video. Like, I'm not going to cut it for you, but, you know, just a short little drive. I'm happy, though, I found some zombies. It's like, it was one of those, it's just one of those scenarios I'm like, usually the, usually the winter biomes crawl with lumberjacks. Especially on very high spawn difficult, very high spawns, but, well, <laughs> thankfully I decided to check that house for zombies, and it's like, there was like a good six of them there, and it's like, I just had to remember, I, I was I was basically doing the glitch right, except I couldn't do the fire axe part. But I figured, hey, I at least have a little bit of luxury on the base. So, okay, here come here is our magnificent little base. So, uh, my magnificent little base, I am so excited to see. And the question is, where do I want to put these vending machines at? Sounds like a good company. Zombies? I thought I heard like one of the random zombie noises around here. Usually they're they're out and about. No, oh, they're not. Okay. So Alrighty. We will do a question is where like like I say I I'm wondering to myself, where do I put the flagpoles at? Where do I want to put them? And... Yo, it's a fun little thing. So... 
<laughs> Sorry about hearing if you heard that voice, folks. Uh, just my little brother. But, uh... So, where do I want to put these flagpoles at? Um... Well, the minibike doesn't take too much space up, so... Put on the support pole here. And then, see, there you go. The, the White River flag kind of works like a charm. And uh, I think just kind of keep it weirdly symmetrical is uh, we'll put the other flag here on the on the other side. That looks pretty cool, though. Now for our vending machines. The thing I wanted to test. Hmm. Um, you know what? I'm thinking we'll put we'll put a vending machine there, and then we'll just put a vending machine over here. Now, does it have its own stock? Ooh, it does. So yeah, with that trader glitch, you can wind up having your own. Your own uh, little stock of uh, drinks. All you just need is the Dukes uh, to buy them. That's really cool. Keep my—I never really placed TMA blocks like you. Know, that were really like, you know, with this glitch. That is—that's just really cool to see, though. So let's do our grab our forge iron, and you have more for me, and yeah, we're working. Working on getting more out. Um, getting thirsty, but we'll worry about that in just a second. And yeah, looking to get more of that. And oh, darn! I don't think we'll have enough to. I don't think I'll have enough to finish out the. The forge should, you know, finish out the, uh, the, what do you call it, you know, all the, all the iron and everything like that, it's, because it's just going to take so much iron, it's not going to, well then, I guess I kind of bit off a little bit more than I could chew, but, uh, we'll just grab, we'll actually just kind of start redoing that. And I'll try my best to at least get the outside upgrade, folks. It's just that I was I was kind of hoping I could do a little bit more. And there we go. We'll just like I say try. Her. And yeah, we're. I don't think I'll be able to get. Like I know I won't be able to get this all done. So, do what I can at least and go away. Yeah, well, I'll try my best to do what I can and, you know. Darn it, dog. Get out. Screamers are starting to spawn dogs. Lovely. Let's heal up really quickly, though. I had some on me, but. Um, what do we want to buy out of the old vending machine here? Well, goldenrod D. Um, where's my duke set? <laughs> yeah, the the uh, the upgrade catwalk is really nice. Uh, okay, some goldenrod teas, and we will just drink here a little bit. Get her. And there we go. Yeah, you know, just down, just down four glasses of tea. Ah! All right, you did not need to scream anymore. You did not need to scream anymore. Alrighty. Just on zombie patrol at the moment. Um. Okay. Oh, cop. 
I'll tank the hit for the for the base. There we go. Cops down. Oh boy. A couple more sawed off shotguns. Go away. Did not need more of you. Oh, Screamer Fest is here. And. There we go. And take care of spides, and we got another little zombie. I know I should probably be saving the ammo for Fortnite, but I'd, I'd ignore my accuracy there. But hey, sun's out, guns out. There we go. All zombies get. Ah, oh, boy. All zombies get the treatment. There we are. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep hanging out here, you know, do my... Do my thing, you know, and hear YouTube, uh, I'll let you know once it's nighttime and, you know, more progress on the... On the old, uh, catwalks. Well, YouTube, uh, you know, doing my thing here, getting... I think I have basically, yep, I have basically the outside area of the, the outside gantry of this, uh, catwalk going, though. This is one thing you need to be careful about with, if you sprint with these, uh, with these catwalks, you can actually fall down. Thankfully, these are just kind of mostly aesthetic, you know, reasons, you know, let me just get up. There we go. But, um... You know, just be warned that if you use these on this version at least. I don't know if they got fixed later on, but just be a little careful of that. But I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed, like, you know, the trigger glitch and, you know, like, kind of some looting, you know. Uh, I hope it wasn't too heavy for you guys on the trigger side of things, but just kind of, you know, pretty... F I enjoyed this, so... I will see you in the in the next episode of it was to be the finale of the long haul. Take care.